Hi there, this is K4A, Knowledge for All, educational videos channel. We are continuing with Scratch tutorials, uh, but this time I'm starting some, something new. Uh, instead of explaining Scratch blocks in uh, this tutorial series, we are going to start uh, explaining small bits of Scratch, and this series will be called Scratch What Is. So in this video I'm going to explain you what is Scratch stage and uh, as I said uh, this whole uh, video seri series will be about uh, explaining uh, what is something in Scratch. So in this example it will be stage, in uh, another it will be sprite and so on. So uh, you can um, uh, learn some some basics of scratch without uh, watching the whole other tutorial series and so on so for example if you're uh, uh, this uh, this will be uh, very useful for beginners or um, for some uh, people who are coming to scratch from other programming languages or uh, even for some uh, people who don't speak English very well so they have to uh, watch tutorials about Scratch in English but they don't know some uh, very concrete uh, uh, titles and uh, how it's called in um, Scratch for example what is stage, what is sprite, what is coordinate, coordinate, coordinate system and uh, so on so these videos will be shorter, I hope so, but they're not going to be tutorial like so uh, not much uh, uh, examples in, in them of some uh, how to make games and so on, but more like some kind of a dictionary, what is this, what is that and so on. So you're supposed to watch them before tutorials or um, maybe uh, when you see something you you... Uh, see or hear something in a tutorial and you don't know what it is then just uh, hop to uh, some video uh, where you can learn it and that's what these videos will be for okay let's go to scratch and see fast what is stage stage in scratch is uh, this blank space around the cat, this white space. So if you made scratch project from the from the scratch, you will get something like this: one uh, image of cat and white space around it. So in short, stage in scratch is white space around your cat or whatever image you have. It doesn't have to be white. We will see later how to change it, but think about it as a blank piece of paper. So if you have a blank piece of paper in real life, that's a stage. Then you draw on it, and when you draw on it, you draw a sprite or an object. You can have as many objects, as many sprites as you want on the stage, as long as it can, as long as they can fit on it. And um, uh, what other things you can learn about stage? Uh, yeah. If you uh, uh, by accident select sprite here, if I select um, cat here by clicking on it, uh, it becomes blue selected. And now the cat is selected, not the stage. But if I want to select the stage, I go to the right and I click on this stage title here. And you can see that uh, on my left something changed. These code blocks, I will explain them li later in what are code blocks. But if you look at them now, and uh, now when I click on the cat, look how they will change. Yeah, you can see that cat has motion blocks, blue one, but when I click on the stage, the stage doesn't have them. What does it mean? Well, it's simple, it's logic. Uh, stage cannot move blank piece of paper cannot uh, uh, you can think of it uh, as it stationary blank piece of paper and you're not going to move it uh, out of your uh, desk you're going just to draw on it so the same goes with this stage you cannot move stage to the left or the right 
but you can move the cat. You can pick any motion block for the cat you want, but for the stage you don't need motion blocks before because uh, stage cannot move. Same goes with some other blocks. Uh, uh, so in short, stage doesn't have all the coding blocks as the simple sprite has. They differ. We will see later in details what what are you missing with uh, what kind of blocks. That's one thing. The other other thing is that uh, uh, the size of the uh, the size of our stage it's it's um, it's definite. You cannot cannot change it. It's uh, 480 pixels, I think, uh, wide and uh, 360 uh, tall. I will check that later. But uh, uh, what is important that it's stationary. You cannot resize it, and that's maybe some some kind of uh, uh, bad thing in terms of. Uh, I hope uh, Scratch programmers will change it in future. But for now on, uh, you cannot change the size of the Scratch stage. Uh, you can, uh, as I said in in the start, uh, for from the start the stage is uh, white and nothing is drawn behind behind the cat. It's all white and blank. Uh, but if you want, you can click here on choose uh, backdrop and choose something else as a background for your stage. I'm not going to do that. I will do that. It's in some later video. And uh, if I want. Uh, uh, you, uh, as I said, you can uh, drag these blocks from your left block win uh, code code window to this big white window, and th that's how you code the stage. I'm just going to drag and drop a few of them, nothing logical, just to show how it's done, and um, and how it's uh, how you can uh, code the stage. I haven't done that yet in my video tutorials, but I just wanted to show you that it's possible to code the stage. So in short, stage can be coded like any kind of sprite or character. Um, uh, what else? Yeah, uh, resizing this. Uh, as I said, you cannot resize the scratch stage, but you can resize it uh, for short uh, period of time. Not uh, it, it will be always the same when you export this as a game to your uh, site. To scratch site but in a short term to make it easier for you to work you can uh, make it smaller or bigger and you can do that by pressing these three buttons to the, uh, to your right on the top top right uh, top above the stage there are, there are three buttons uh, one says uh, one is smaller to make your um, stage even smaller which looks crazy small and you cannot work like this probably I cannot at least but uh, what do you get by the, by pressing this button well you you get this this uh, white big window for coding even bigger so you can put more and more uh, code here and make it easier to code so that's why you uh, that's why why this uh, button is used for and the second is regular size that's how your game is going to look in the final and the third one is to make it a full screen which is to make your uh, game easier to see or play or see how it works uh, then go back again clicking on this resize window to the regular size um, i think that's it more or less and as i said the most important thing for you to understand is what is stage and that's the stage is the background of your project of your game is it starts as a white screen as a white blank space but you can change that with picking some backdrop from uh, backdrop scratch library or making your own with uh, paint or upload and scratch can be coded we have seen that you can drag and drop these code um, blocks and uh, it can be resized. That's it, more or less. And I will link um, Scratch Wiki, uh, Scratch Wiki website, um, where you can learn more of it. But more or less, it's what I 
already told you but um, yeah nothing most nothing uh, important here but uh, I will link it for you so you can check it out that's it for this video in next video I think I will um, explain what the sprite is and so on so keep on learning and keep on scratching bye for now